tell you that I am well educated. I went to Kenya's university, cleared in 1990, in 1995 with a BA science. Then 2007, I did my master's in ICT in uh, information systems at Nairobi University. So that means when I stand here, I will be giving you substance that can be related to. So with that, let me just take you through the presentation and I want to be as short as possible so that the time taken is uh, brief. When the elections were beginning to take place, uh, out of just curiosity, I decided to do a tally this time because my first vote was in 1992 and all along we've been voting and not seeing so much success in the vote. So this time I said because I could see results streaming in to the IEBC servers, uh, not really the portal at uh, BOMAS, we I decided to pick up those results and tally them myself directly. And when I tallied, it happens that the results that I got were exactly what was at the bonus. Then I got discouraged and uh, left the whole thing. But then at some point later, I decided to go to the secretariat and talk to the executive director of the party of the Orange Democratic Movement. Then, as I was trying to present to him what I was trying to do, because I was trying to see some anomalies here and there in my analysis, but I couldn't figure out exactly what exactly were the anomalies. Then he flooded me with another set of data. He told me that we have this data that has come from somebody that they call the whistleblower. And as we stand here, please don't confuse me for a whistleblower. I am not. I am just here to compare the two results and give you the outcome. So the whistleblower is not here. And so please don't take that as the case. So I'm going to take you through what the findings were as brief as possible. In the analysis, we, I came up with the issue of the national tally, which graded down to the regional tallies to constituents. Actually, the building block started from the polling station tallies so that I could get what His Excellency had been talking about because it was like he is saying 8.1 million. But for me, when I added in, this, in the IBC portal, I was getting uh, 6 point something, 6.9 million. So I wanted to know where is exactly this 8.9 million 8.1 million coming from. And then I decided to tally direct from the polling stations. And when I tallied, this is exactly what I got, which I'm going to take you through and then leave you with a site to go and check by yourselves. I got that 8.11244 million. That gave uh, His Excellency the 56.9 percent and also I got 5.938 uh, uh, 160 that gave uh, the other X excellency 41.7 percent again I compared with what I got from so that gave me a, a vote difference of 2.174 uh, million votes and these are realities because these are data that you can add by yourselves I'll give you and you will check. Then I looked at the IBC, then I realized this is the result that came out when I was telling. I got that uh, uh, out of, uh, I want to move very fast, so please kindly allow me to refer to our two leaders. Sometimes my mouth will be slipping and I'll be calling them by name. I'll just be saying uh, Raila and I'll also be saying Ruto, but it's out of full respect that I'll be doing that so that I move faster. So here, I noticed that uh, uh, His Excellency Ruto got that and uh, His Excellency Raila got 6.9 from the IBC servers. Uh, because here you can see that I am less 36 uh, 
poll, polling stations, that I did not get from the IEBC portal. So that gave the 30 votes, uh, while we know that the portal of IEBC is talking of about 233,000 votes. Uh, I want to take you through some things here. I have two sets of forms that I will show you where they are. In one set of form, the title may look like this. And if you look at it, you compare with the next one that I'm showing. Actually, I've showed one here, and I've showed the other one. And uh, I cannot tell the difference between those two in the heading. It's not possible to tell the difference between those two. And then I went and checked on the uh, sign sections. And then I realized again that I cannot also tell a difference between the two in the sign sections. But then now it was like, how do we get the real difference? If I go to the content of these forms, uh, you realize that the data is in a, a picture form. And in that picture form, it's very hard to read by some software. So again, by looking at them in a nutshell, it just with a, a, a naked eye, you're not able to differentiate. So in one form, it's like that, and in another one, it's like that. So looking at this and looking at that, the only thing that can be easily visible is the, the totals down here. You can see that here, in this form I have uh, the right honorable getting 24, 544 votes, and uh, His Excellency Ruto is getting uh, 12,808 votes. But if you go to the other one, now you get that uh, the, the right honorable uh, Prime Minister is getting uh, uh, 24,444. Now if you compare with the other one, there's already 100 votes not there accounted for, because here it is 24,544. But here it is 24, 444. Then when you go to uh, Dr. Ruto's side, you're going to see 12,808. But on this other side, it is 12,908. Now that data is massive inside there. That where to pick that 100 that has been taken from Jacob and given to Ruto on the other side is very hectic for the 291 uh, forms that are there, that is plus including the diaspora. So I decided to subject this to a system that gave me clear pictures. And in that system, I started noticing a few things. You can see here that uh, in this station, Jacom has 270 and 79 for Ruto, but when you come to this side, now he has 170 and 179 for Ruto. And I picked, I, I, that is noticeable. So with that you can easily see that the 100 has been taken from this two, and then the, one, the 100 added here has been added at 179. And it's only in this one polling station, which is actually station number one, in a a stream of 10 polling stations which were not touched. Only one of them was touched and the change was there. I give you another one of a, a different one. Here you can see that uh, in this station called Mivumoni Primary School, uh, Jacob has 277 and uh, Ruto has 102, but when you come to this, now he has 77, and here it is 302. And noting that these are forms that reflect all the features of IEBC, and when you look at it clearly, this cannot be an edited manual editor. It is something that was typed through the same system that was typing on the other one, 
and then imposed on this uh, watermarked paper, which is officially owned by IEBC only, nobody else. So when you look at it, you have also another one here, where Jacob has won 49, and Ruto has won 91, and here he has 188, and here is 111. But then when you go to this side, now he has only 49, and this is 291, and here we have 88, and this is 211. So 111 changes to 211, and 191 changes to 291. And here, 188 changes to 88. When you come down here, there's also another one, where you can see that here he has 156, and Ruto has 132. But then when you come to this, now he has 106, and here he has 182. So by looking at it, it was a deliberate effort to take 50 from here, and also award 50 on the other side. So by looking at this, you can see that there's a, a lot of, a number of deductions that took place. But now, in the initial f figure, Jacob should be having 34, uh, 345, and Ruto should be having 11, 7, or 9. But in this other portal, the one at the IEBC portal, the one at BOMAS, the one that was used to declare results, now that gives him 33,795, and Ruto now has 12,259. It shows that he's still leading in this constituency, but you can see a number of votes have been taken from him and given to the other side. Now, let me take you to everything so that I finish and let you see what happened. Don't want to waste time. This is directly found online. We have placed it there, and it's purely available for everybody to see. Uh, when we try to show it a little to the journalists, <laughs> the following evening, uh, some people decided to inject some code onto it, and it crashed instantly. When we asked those who are hosting it. They told us that that injection is coming from your country, Kenya. So we decided to shift it to a different hosting platform so that it became private and uh, they have been unable to inject anything on it again. So it is available and you can get it anytime you want. And uh, I want to take you through it. Now that is figure that already been discussed. That has been discussed. Now, let me take you to a summary of all the constituencies first before taking you to the specific polling stations. In the, all the constituencies, you can see that after analyzing the whole project, we realized that in Mombasa County, it is only cons two constituencies that were affected, and that is in Likoni and in Mvita, where Jacob lost 100 votes and uh, Dr. Ruto gained uh, 100 votes. And here Jacob gained 400, lost 400 votes and Dr. Ruto gained 400 votes. Then when you come to the others in Kuale, only two were affected. And here we have the figures as you can see. So this is what happened in Kilifi, only one station. I mean, one, one constituency at one station, that is. Now, I want to take you to the regional values because it will be faster to look at them in regional formats than in county formats. Now, when you look at the regional values, you note that at the end, uh, IBC awarded Jacob 649,000 uh, uh, votes and awarded Dr. Ruto 336,000 votes. That is the official result from the IBC portal. 
But when we look at the other results that uh, the ED gave me, uh, it resulted that Jacob was to have 651 and Ruto to have 334, meaning he lost 1,950 votes and Ruto gained uh, 1,950 votes in coast region in total. Then when we come to northeastern region, uh, I'll show you again here that now IBC awarded Jacob 352,000 votes and awarded Dr. Ruto 196,000 votes. But in our analysis on the other side, it gave Jacob 374,000 votes and Dr. Ruto 174, meaning 22,000 votes were taken from Jacob and Dr. Ruto added 21,000 votes. You may think these are the so-called hot air, but I will show you where they come from. Now, when we come to Upper Eastern, uh, the IBC awarded Jacob 149,000 votes and Dr. Ruto was given 731,000 votes, while in the analysis we have, uh, Jacob was to get 232,000 votes and Dr. Ruto was to get 648,000 votes. Now, here the deductions go higher and now he's losing 83,000 votes and Dr. Ruto is gaining 83,000 votes. When we go to Lower Eastern, we note that uh, here, IBC portal gave Jacob 769,000 votes and Dr. Ruto was given 250,000 votes. This looks uh, clear. But you see, when we look at what we added on the other side, we have 770,000 votes and 245. That means in the Lower Eastern, Jacob lost only 1,400 votes. And then Dr. Ruto gained uh, 5,100 votes. Now, we come to Central Province. Now in Central Province, we have uh, IBC portal at Bomas giving Jacob 423,000 votes against Dr. Ruto's 1.6 million votes. While, when we add on to the other side, Jacob should be having 1.027 uh, million votes and uh, Dr. Ruto having 1.016 million votes. I will show you where they all came from. And here he lost a total of 604,000 votes and Dr. Ruto gained 615,000 votes. Uh, from Central Province. And uh, we decided to settle here a little bit and say that it's common knowledge that a sitting president was coming from Central Province and uh, he was on this other side. So it's possible that there was a sharing of 50-50 votes in Central Province. And given that this data is almost reflecting that, I think a 50-50 is a fair game in Central Province, knowing the people, how vibrant they are in that place. Then we come to, to Rift Valley, which is the largest voting block. And here, IBC comfortably gave Jacob 1.1 million votes from Bomas and Dr. Ruto was given 2.666 million votes from Bomas and our addition from Rift Valley gave Jacob 1.4 million votes and Dr. Ruto 2.3 million votes. Looking at it, 1.1 and 1.4 in a, a, a voting block of the whole of Rift Valley is not far from the truth. It's true 
that you can see that it's possible that the 1.4 was highly attainable because we should have seen what we are seeing in Central in Rift Valley because in Central it was 400,000 votes only and in Rift Valley he has 1.1 million votes. And uh, this other system is not exaggerating. It is giving 1.4. So we can see that he lost 336,000 votes in Central, I, I mean in Rift Valley uh, as a whole. And uh, Dr. Ruto gained 346,000 votes. When you come to Western region, uh, the ruling votes as we speak, Jacom had 845,000 votes against Dr. Ruto's 513 in IEBC portal. But when we analyze the other data set, we have Jacom having 892,000 versus 466,000 votes, meaning in Western province or um, Western region, all of it, he lost 47,000 votes and Dr. Ruto gained 46,000 votes. You can see that the consistency in that what you lose on this side, you gain on that side, almost gives credibility to this as a very pre-planned uh, outcome that was meant to be. When you come to Nyanza region, uh, we have uh, IBC giving uh, Jacom a total of 1.87 million votes versus Dr. Ruto's 283,000 votes. Uh, knowing Nyanza as it is, well, we know that's possible. Then when we look at what comes out at the other data set, we have Jacom having 1.89 uh, million votes just 1.9 million votes, and then Dr. Ruto getting 261. So here, he was also denied 20,000 votes, and uh, Dr. Ruto added 22,000 uh, votes. Then we come lastly to Nairobi as a, a region, which is also a county on its own. Then we have uh, from IBC portal, he's given 757, and Dr. Ruto is given 535,000 votes. But in the, in the other data set, we have 822, 623, and 470, giving him a loss of 65,000 votes, and Dr. Ruto gaining 65,000 votes as well. Apparently, the other data set for diaspora was not available, so we relied basically on the portal data, and uh, that's why we have zero, zero there. So we have a set of data that were not available, and that is why we only work with what was there. So looking at it carefully, you will note that in the end, uh, His Excellency, the Prime Minister, lost uh, 1.182 million votes and Ruto was awarded 1.2 million votes nationally and in that now if you add all these data values and all these and all this you're going to have 8.112 uh, 244 million votes and then Dr. Ruto having 5.9 so when you hear uh, his Excellency the Prime Minister saying I have been having 8.1 million votes. This is the breakdown in the constituency format. And uh, Dr. Ruto, he has been saying, has been having 5.9 million votes. This is the breakdown in the constituency format so that you can easily track it. Because looking at it on uh, the final value is confusing that everybody else would be asking where are those values coming from? So with that, allow me to now take you to the last section of this uh, presentation. I'll choose a few constituencies and then just that it. Uh, 
this website is arranged in a very easy way. In this part, we have the count.